Kentrum of Kentrum.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you a way to filter this list. I have a list of customers here and you see they are um, marked by country and I also have a countries list. So I'm going to show you two different ways of using connected web parts to make use of these two lists. So first of all, I'm going to create a page. And then I'm going to change the text layout so that I have two columns. So on the left, I'm going to add the countries app part. So there we go. I have the countries. For that to work, the default view of the list cannot be a datasheet view. It cannot be in quick edit mode. So that's important. On the right, I'm going to add the app part for the customers. And now what I want this page to do is when you click a country, only those customers for that country show up. So in order to do that, I'm going to edit the country's web part. But for once, I'm not going to go into the um, web part um, task pane over there. But instead, I'm going to find the connections and then I'm going to send the row of data to customers. And then I get this pop-up dialog. Get filter values, that's the one I want, and configure. And I want to connect the country field, that one is best, uh, and then connect that to the country, right? Because that's the same value. And I'm going to finish that. And as you see, Argentina got selected automatically here. If I click on another one, it actually works already in edit mode here. So now let's save the page and I can click on Canada and I get some Canadian customers, Denmark, yep, you see how that works? And uh, then I go to Sweden and indeed I have Swedish customers there. All right, so that concludes the demonstration on how to work with connected web parts in a new page. Thank you for watching this demo.